Hi everyone, welcome back. It's time to decorate for November. I don't know about you, but I feel like October went by in about 20 minutes. <laughs> it was a very quick month. Look at that. I am so behind in my gratitude. But let's decorate anyways. I'm actually excited about a new month. Although I have to say, um, we've had some like beautiful weather. It's like 17 degrees Celsius today. Yesterday it was 21 degrees and normally it's cold and we even get some wet snow by now. So this, it's been great. So I'm not looking forward to, to the colder weather, but I am looking forward to you know, hibernation season and cozy season. The subscription kit from Sterling Inc. for November is just absolutely stunning. I think it might be my favorite one yet. So let's get everything out. And get started. love these darker tones. So gorgeous. So how are you guys doing? Are you all set up for November? Today is the 28th of October. I haven't been, um, apart from my Plan, weekly plan with me videos. I haven't had a whole lot of time. So today I have been batch filming. So this is, this is my third video now today. I think so. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Stunning. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to try and fill, like fit this in here. I just love this. Oh, maybe it could go. It's just too big. Too big. So yeah, I like to look back and see what I've done in previous months to see what looks good. I've, I've have used some stickers already in other projects that I've done that I will share with you. And um, yeah, I'm very excited about this collection. It's just, I'm tempted to order more on her website because these are just so incredibly gorgeous. Uh, 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 uh. Like, look at these pomegranates. Makes me want to eat one. I like to just sprinkle the little ones around so that when I do my gratitude, you know, you just have like little little stickers. I just like how that looks. Yeah.
there. I like it. I like it very much. You know what I like about the darker colors too, I was thinking, is that they don't uh, compete with the ink. This ink may have been too dark. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the ink may be too dark. Like these are very light, those stickers. So maybe they should have been used somewhere else. Like these ones really stand out. So the, the ink doesn't compete. So I, I yeah, I'm going to have to use an ink. I'm just so into this burgundy ink right now, which is this one. That... I'm really, really liking it. Like I've been using it a lot. I have not printed out the November. Um, so I won't do this yet. I haven't printed out the November sheet. Uh, insert. Freebie. Whatever. I can't form words. I think this might be my fourth video today. So I won't decorate this page yet. So let's leave that. Oh, and then I forgot. <laughs> I like to do the oh I didn't do it in October so I think I might leave that it's very bulky like when I push on it because of when I did it on the weeks yeah so it just makes it too bumpy so I'm gonna leave that actually I'll save these for something else okay so that is done so pretty set up my weeks. I really like how these look. I'm telling you, these sterling ink stickers are just stunning. All right. It looks so little <laughs> with the the uh, camera zoomed back. So let's see what I'm going to put on this one. Just keep it simple. That's really pretty. I like it. All right, let's set up. Okay. On these ones here, I like to use the corner ones because then they fit fit better. In the corners, you know. I like this tea kettle. Oh, sorry, I like this tea kettle, but I just wish they had a small, like a smaller teacup to go with it because that looks gargantuan. 
right next to it it just looks out of place it'd be nice to put a teacup beside it but I don't there is there isn't any yeah oh well I think this could be a nice divider from my trackers and my trackers can go up here and then down here is the week recap. So I think I will put that right there. Wait, let me make sure I have enough room. There. I need 16 squares to be able to fit those in. That's how much room that takes. And then this would be a recap. I think that's going to look... It's like when you put the stickers down, it might look a little bit awkward, but then once you have your journaling in there, it just, look, it just brings it together, you know? Just realized I forgot to put my little stickers on this side. I like to do two or three per week. All right, nice and simple. Let's take a look. These are from, um, they're like rub-on that I got a year, like over a year, no, a year ago. Aren't they so pretty? I got them from Paper Plus Cloth in Toronto when I was there for the planner conference. It was September of last year. And yeah, so I finally used them. Oh, I just love them. Um, anyhow, okay, so here we go. love it and then the monthly all ready to go I had a um, I just filmed a video on my cycle trackers and um, so my book dart was out but then I had an ollie clip on this section and I cannot find it now that I've I'm done filming anyways okay we'll have to find that later so that's done now let's set up I have a video coming on how I or not how on my new tab dividers I didn't film me making them but I'm going to uh, show you guys how they all look once I'm set up in my new planner, my new binder. It is, like I said, it's like it feels like spring. So you hear all of the spring sounds outside, like your neighbors are doing things, kids playing, all that. It's just lovely. Normally it's cold and everybody's, uh, you know, hibernating inside this time of year. Okay, let's decorate the month of November in my planner. 
I would say out of all of the decorating that I do, this one is my favorite. Um, okay. I really like that teacup. Mm, I love this one for the flowers. Maybe I'll put that down there. Do I try doing some doing some layering? I might have to close my window. It'd get pretty loud out there. So I was thinking, because this one just looked too, I don't know, when it's by itself with nothing, it just, it feels like it, like it looks like it's missing something. So if I, oh, I should have put that lower. Oh, no, that's okay. I very rarely book anything on a Sunday, so it's okay if that's covering up Sunday. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. I just closed my window. I don't know until I'm editing how much background noise um, the camera picks up. So I'll just close it until I'm done filming so it's not distracting for you guys with the background noise. Hopefully this isn't too dark. I'm getting quite a shadow. It's sunny out. So the sun is like over my shoulder now. I try to use natural light as much as possible. Um... I don't like artificial light. I think I might want that pink flower. I just can't even tell you how happy it makes me that there's so much pink in this kit. Like last month's was beautiful, but it didn't make me happy like this one. Because there's so much. Like this is last month. Like, I don't know. It's pretty because it's very fall, but it's bleh. Right? Like, I mean, they're pretty, but they just don't do it for me the way the pink does. It's my happy place. Pink is my happy place. I am just always happy when there's pink. And you know what's a funny story? When I was a teenager, I went through this phase where I did not like pastels. It's like, no, it has to be black. It has to be dark. <laughs> and now I barely have anything dark in my wardrobe. But didn't we all almost go through that phase? Okay, now that I've closed the window, I'm getting hot. Um, hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Either this one on an angle kind of like that but then it might take up well no if I angle it like that then it should be fine it shouldn't take up room in the actual square that's what I'm thinking or I do one of these flowers but it's just not it's not fitting so if I'm struggling with it too much then it's not the right one I don't think I have anything else that would look good there. So I only put it down on the one side. So now I can cut it and put the rest on that side. So make sure it's down very well. So um, is this one? 
So what I was looking for is to see is if this little part and this part were connected, because if not, I would do one at a time, but they are connected. So I will do it all together. You have to be very careful because these are paper and they do tear easily. It's like sticker surgery. I am going to love this. And then I just tap it down with my nail so I can remove the tweezers and not move the sticker. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Oh, that's gonna look so pretty in my planner. Although I would like this to be, you can see it's not completely on the edge. And this one is. So I need to move it over a little bit. There's too much paper on the one side. And if you lift it right away, it won't tear your paper. But if it's sitting for a while, then it will. So if you're gonna make any changes, you wanna make sure that you do it right away, <clears throat> right away. I apologize if my head gets in here, but I'm trying to see around the shadows. Sticker surgery, right? I need one of those, um, um, you know what doctors wear when they do surgery? It has like a microscope or a magnifying glass or a microscope or whatever, and it's like a light that they wear on their head. <laughs> That's what we need when we do sticker surgery. And I am wearing readers over top of my contact lenses so that I can see. I am gonna have, sorry about my arm there. I need a little light. Oh, actually this is way better. I think I'm gonna keep the light on. Why was I doing that without the light? It's much better. Very dainty. That looks better. Okay, do I need anything else? You know what they say, less is more. And once I have my pen in here and I have my appointments, what do you guys think? Like I've got the stickers and then I used um, like uh, the sterling ink stickers and then I use like these for bullet um, to recognize appointments do we like that or is it is it competing with the sticker should I not have stickers I never know it's it's like after the fact like this one I don't have anything just the printing so nothing's competing with the sterling ink stickers right and then here I do have some stickers but they're light and they complement the sterling ink stickers. Maybe that's the key. I shouldn't be using anything bold. I didn't use stickers there, like bullet points there. I did here. Now these, these are too big, I admit. I maybe should have cut them and used like a half circle. Yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that they compete? And now that I'm making these, they're just so stinking pretty. I don't want to mess with them. So maybe if I use like my pink dot stickers, I do have all of these dot stickers, but they're really big. So it's like I could cut them in half and try and use them. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Maybe the purpley ones. It's just they're sitting in my drawer not being used because they're so big. Now that I'm in my personal wide, when I was in my half letter, they were perfect. So that's the only thing, if you're gonna be switching planner sizes, that's just one thing to consider is any stickers that you use will change. Um, mm, 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 mm. I do have, well, I still need to, okay. So let's move on and I'll come back to that. So, you know, as per usual, I put this one on. Although I almost ran out of room here. 
again, these are personal wise, so they're smaller. So either I need to write smaller because there's quite a few here that I needed two lines. And I always think that as I'm writing it out, I'm like, oh, I didn't need that extra word. Like I could have, you know, I could have used less words and then it would fit, everything would fit. So maybe that's what I need to do. But this sticker is just too pretty. For next year, I, I won't be using these on here. I'm gonna be using these in, um, in other journals. You'll see I have a video coming up. I filmed today. It's not my complete 2024 setup, but it's what I have so far and what I plan on. It's sort of like a verbal brain dump with you guys on what I'm planning on uh, using for 2024. So I'm thinking that I will use this sticker in my memory planning because I'm switching things up for memory planning for next year. So, and then that way this won't take up so much room on my master task list. Tedious work this planner business is, eh? You know what, guys? I still don't have a teeny tiny garbage for my desk for all the little scraps. If you know of one that's inexpensive, please let me know. Okay. And I just need a little something up here, probably that flower because it ties into there. And then this side will be done. And then I just need to do the front. Oh my goodness, there we go. That's all I'm doing there. Now this, look at these little marks. This is from the master task list from the previous month because I use a fountain pen when it's not fully dry and I close my planner. Oh, hate that. I have to remember that. Or you know what I should do is make something kind of like a pencil board, but make something that I can put in between um, so that it doesn't do that. All right, so this here, I don't want to be too busy. I want it to be simple. I figure on the bottom corner, just one bigger one. You know what, I might lift this up and then put this over top. I love these Midori tabs, like they don't rip your paper. That's been on there for a very long time and it does not rip the paper. So they're repositionable, which I guess makes sense considering they're tabs. That's a bit crooked. So what are you guys watching these days? We have started Peaky Blinders. I think, did one of you recommend that? My in-laws watched it and a long time ago, they suggested it and my in-laws are in their 80s. I'm so surprised that they watch that, um, but they really liked it. And then one of my best friends, she watched it and liked it. And then I think someone on here recommended it too. So I said to my husband, I've heard from multiple people, so we need to watch that. And oh my gosh, we love it. It is so good. It took like one or two episodes to really understand what was going on. And of course, we have to watch it with the subtitles because the accents are so thick. But it is so good. We are loving it. How would that look up there in the corner? Is 
These flowers are so beautiful. Could be like that or like that. Now I did put one there and there. So is that two? <laughs> Can you tell I like to put um, stickers in the top left corner of my pages? Would that be too much? Maybe that big one. Is that too big? Uh, let's see. Maybe that one. We're also watching the morning show on Apple TV Plus. Apple, what, what's that called? Apple Plus, Apple TV. And we really like that as well. I finished True Blood, I think like a week ago. And that was my third time watching it. Has it was it my third time or my fourth? I feel like it was my third. Ah, that one tore. And if you like vampires, I highly recommend that show. Oh, it's so good. I'm sad that it's over. But I will watch it again. True Blood and The Vampire Diaries are two shows that I will rewatch. Vampire Diaries I've rewatched several times. I'm actually reading the books now. I've read the first book years ago before the show came out. So I didn't remember it, but oh my gosh, it is so different from the from the show. I feel like the show is better. Um, but um, anyways, yeah, I'm reading the Vampire Diaries now and I'm enjoying it. Even though it's a lot different, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm on the second book. I read the first book in like a week and a half. I've been reading, you guys. You know, I've been talking about that for a while. How I want to get back into reading. I guess I just needed the right book. I like that. I feel like maybe does it need one more? You know, they say do it in do things in threes. Do I need something in the middle? Or just leave it as is. Just something small and dainty, nothing really big. That has leaves, so maybe a leaf. Maybe this one here see how that will look. I don't know. I feel like it looks lonely. It needs something. But I don't want to get in the way of my writing. Maybe this little pomegranate seed. I think I only have one left too because I've used them all. What do you guys think? Is that good? Simple? Do we like? Yeah, let's keep it simple. I feel like that's too far in, but maybe, I don't know, does it need something behind it? Or should we just leave that alone? I think we should leave that alone. Okay, so that is a decorate with me. My two journals and my um, monthly calendar. I really enjoy this part. I find it relaxing and you know it just makes me so happy to have pretty stationery and pretty papers I know I don't have to explain you guys know okay let's put these away what I do when I get my kit is I keep the current month separate from everything else and then when the month is over I put I just put everything together in here so as you can see these are all nothing in here but sterling ink so this is just everything together 
but I do keep the transparent stickers separate from, so this is just the whole bunch. This isn't one specific month, but this is all of the transparent like paper sticker, or not paper, but yeah, the transparent paper. So I keep all of these separate. And then these are all regular paper stickers. I don't know, it just makes sense to me in my brain. Let's see if those are last month's. See, I last month's just didn't jive with me. Like I didn't even use them all. I, I'll use them in journaling and things. They really are pretty. They're just not pink. More pink, more purples. Yeah, so then I still put them in here. And I just keep them separate so that I, when I'm working through the month and I want to use this month's stickers, I know where to find them. All right, let's get this in my planner. I already trimmed this down. This comes in B6 size in the subscription kit. So I already trimmed that down and put it in here. Good, I'm glad I put that sticker up there because then it shows through the layering. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, I just love it so much. So, so much. Okay, that is my Decorate With Me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe for more decorating um, with me, but I do do a lot of videos on planning, functional planning and DIY and real estate stuff. So I hope you will subscribe and oops, come along for the journey. And thank you to my returning subscribers. Love that you guys come week after week. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.